Hello, today I'm here with a uh, Get Ready With Me and it uh, feels like it was a long time ago. I just have to put up my hair. Okay, I don't know how long... T how... If it has been a long time or not since my last Get Ready With Me. But me and my boyfriend, we are going out to eat some dinner. In like one hour or one and a half hour or something like that. So I thought I can do a little Get Ready With Me. And I am using... I think I'm only going to use these singles from Nabla. This was their the matte collection, I think. So I'm doing something natural thing because I don't I don't mind to have like super colorful shadows out in public, but sometimes I just don't I just don't like when people stare at me and I live in a small town and people are going to stare at me if I'm coming in with like a blue eye or something and I think you can hear the people outside but like I don't want to close the window so I think we just have to wing it like this because this is a get rid of me and yeah it's a park over the street and somebody has been playing music for like an hour now and it's like I don't know it's rock music then it's like some Spanish music and then it is like techno I have no idea what kind of people these are because they listen to everything so I'm just going to do my makeup and you can just join me so I don't think I will talk about what colors I'm using or anything I will just do my makeup and talk a little bit and today it is Saturday today when I'm recording this and I had like this super long shower and I washed my hair and I shaved my legs and I scrubbed my face and then I was putting on a face mask I was dyeing my brows and it was just it felt so good and it's not like a super heat wave in Sweden anymore I'm so happy about that it's still kinda hot but it's bearable, so that's good. I don't really know why I wanted to do a Get Ready With Me because I have no idea what I want to talk about. Like, no... Oh yeah, one thing! I have thought about having a giveaway because it was such a long time since I had a giveaway. It is... I have never done a giveaway when my... channel is in English. So I wanted to do that and I was thinking about, I want to do it worldwide and <laughs> yes. I have not decided yet what I want to put in this giveaway but I think I want to take some of my favorite things from Swedish brands that 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 this that is that sound that I, Jesus I can't even talk that so, does that sound good oh like a brain fart because I was thinking in that giveaway to give away my favorite foundation that is from. A Finnish brand but it's so big in Sweden and a powder I really like and maybe a lipstick and something more I haven't decided yet and I will not feel like I am so out of balance do you get rid of me Okay, I really like this shade. I think I want, maybe want to take it on my whole 
lid. This is cinnamon from Nobla, of course. Okay, so for my giveaway that I am thinking about, it is, for example, I want to give away this foundation. It's from Lumia their Blur Foundation. Really love it. And also, their powder. And two more things that I haven't decided yet, but I want to take some of my favorites that are from brands that I don't think it's sold all over the world. I hope that that sounds like a good idea. And I am not going to... The foundation that I am going to give away, I am not going to buy it before because it has to suit the person that wins. So... When the giveaway is over, I'm going to talk to the winner and we can decide which color you need <laughs> because I can't just buy one because it has to suit the winner. And this powder, this is translucent and I think this suits everybody. I think this is one of the translucent powders that doesn't make you grey. I'm not sure. But that is my thought at least. I don't know when I'm going to have this giveaway. I'm thinking maybe when I have been doing my videos in English for a year and that is in the mid of August I think. Please tell me if you think that is a good idea for a giveaway. I really hope it is. Maybe it's a Swedish winner. I don't know. And I don't know how the rules are when you're having a giveaway because I think it's different in which country you are. But if you want me to do a giveaway with my Swedish favorites, just let me know and I will have one. And I am drinking Pepsi from a wine glass. Okay, and what can we talk about more? Another thing that is happening in my life right now is that I'm getting new work times. A new schedule at work so I am going to start at 6 a.m. in the morning of course 6 a.m. in the morning 6 a.m. instead of 6 45 and that is pretty early I have to be up by 5 latest and I feel pretty good about that even though I my sleep isn't the best. If you've been here for a little while, you know that I have some troubles with my sleep. It's pretty okay right now, but I get like... I have episodes or periods, I don't know what to call it, when I just can't sleep. And if I'm going to <laughs> start work at 6, I have to be at bed pretty early. But at the same time, if I start at 6, I'm going to be home earlier. And other things are happening at work and I maybe can stop doing so much overtime. And that would be amazing. I work quite a lot of overtime, if you say it like that. And maybe this new schedule will put an end to it. And that feels great because I'm happy about the money. But I want time to do other things. I'm a little bit eager to use the black. Um, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to keep this so freaking simple. Maybe I should take... I think I will take the cinnamon on my whole lid. And then deepen it down in my outer corner with the black instead. Just to... look like a normal person in makeup for once in a while. Okay, and what should I talk about more? Yeah, I can talk about my plants. Okay, that sounded too boring. I have always been this person that have killed all the plants I have ever had. I killed my cactus. I have killed one more than one cactus. And it... One I killed because I didn't water it. At all, so it like dried up. The other one I drowned. That's how good I am with plants. But I have found my plant. My mother always said, 
you need to find your plant. And I have find, found my plants. I am, uh, like so many people are right now, I am a Monstera. Is it called Monstera in English? Person. Um, I have had one for like, I don't know how long it is. I think it's over a year. And for me to have a plant with green leaves, and it has also grown, that is incredible and my boyfriend haven't helped me at all he usually do because i kill everything i think i have had it planned for over a year and that's a record in my world for sure that's a pretty big record it's like broken my own record with 10 months and i actually have two plants two most eras I got one Monstera, I don't know what it's called, like the, I think if you google the Monstera, it's the picture you get, like this big green leaves, and I also have a monkey mask, and it's growing, and I am like, I have found it, I can have plants, so today I, I'm going to fix, or I have fixed a little bit, I have deep, Repotted? Repotted? Take from one pot to another. And one I have changed the soil. I don't know a shit about plants in Swedish and I don't know a shit about plants in English. But I really hope you know what I mean. Okay, I don't know if I want to go in with black or the grey. I don't think I've used this black and it's always a little bit dangerous to use black. And no, I am not going to be a plant channel because I don't know nothing about plants and this was a fr super bad idea. But what's done is done. I like have no idea how these two plants have survived under the care of me because... I have killed so many plants, so many plants, so many plants. Okay, and should we maybe talk about my growing here on YouTube? It is, I don't know what to say, it is so, so fun. I don't really care about the numbers that much, but it is fun to grow either way. I think everybody could, can agree with me on that. Even if you don't care, it's fun to grow. It's just... I, I think it would be strange not to think it's fun. Why did I take more black? And the thing I think it's the most fun is that it is more people to interact with. And it's so fun to hear your thoughts about things either about my makeup looks or about other things when i'm talking about other things so that is so fun and i have i really feel like my motivation is back and i love doing youtube now i think that almost everybody that has a youtube channel know what I mean because sometimes you can f you still want to do it and you still think it's fun but sometimes the motivation isn't there anymore and I felt it a little I don't know if it shown um, at all but I think it's getting back now and that feels so good because this is like a big hobby for me and I love to do this and yeah and now i'm so so hot and i'm like it's no heat wave anymore but to have two studio lights on you it is hot i can just see it like that i actually think i am satisfied with the eyes like this i think they are 
really good. I really like that cinnamon shade. Okay, so I think I will take away the fallout and also wet my little sponge and then I will be back and we maybe do the base together. It's strange to do a get ready with me and don't do my base, so I will do my base. Okay, the fallouts are gone and I have cleaned my sponge and also put on some primer and what shall we talk about now? I don't know. I just felt I really want to do a get ready with me, but I like don't know what I want to talk about. So I don't know why I felt like I needed to do a get ready with me, but I needed to do it. It felt like before. I don't really know what's up with me. Okay, and I think it was in my last get ready with me. I talked about that I have shaved my face. I think it was my latest and I love it. I understand why so many do it and why people that do it love it because it feels so You feel so fresh. Well, I don't know. Did I just... I think I was just thinking about it in my Get Red With Me. And... Yeah, I have done it. I don't know if I have talked about this. I have no idea. But I... I really like it. <laughs> and it feels so strange. Because for some reason... It feels like facial hair like for me I have always been when I was younger I was a little bit ashamed of my facial hair because I had quite a lot and then I was like I ain't going to give a fuck what people say and I think the most things with your body or your appearance that you don't like. I don't even think that other people notice it because we are so aware of ourselves and think that we are the only one that's having problem with our appearance or problem or problem but I see things on myself that I think that other people see but they don't because it's just in my head and the most of the other people have the same things about their own bodies and I can't see anything wrong with them. We are always so hard on ourselves. And why is this like a therapy session? I don't know. Um, but then I shaved my face and oh my god. The foundation lies so good. The skin cares amazing and I think I got some more glow to my skin love it and first I was like a little bit afraid oh no I'm going to be so hairy when it grows back but I don't not more hairy than I was before so okay and yeah I have bought my first like base my two first base products for this year I I bought a new foundation, a refill, because that is soon empty and I was in a store that this is like 40% off, so I bought it. And I also have bought a new concealer, because this is soon empty and the freaking company said that they were going to restock it. And yeah, they did. They did restock all the other colors. Uh, but not this one. And this is so... I like scraped the inside of it. And it's starting to get so nasty. So yeah, I bought a new concealer. Because I know myself, I am going to forget to buy a new concealer. And then when this is empty for like 100% empty, I am going to like, oh yeah. I have no new concealer. 
And this also, I don't think I can use this up because it feels like the things on the side and in the bottom is like something has happened to the formula. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, it feels like all my get ready with me's. I know what to talk about for a little while, and then I'm just like, okay, now I don't have anything more to say. <sighs> so it gets like the most boring video ever. And I think we're going into town and not taking the car. We usually. It is not long to walk into town, but you know when you are. If you go out to a restaurant and eat, and then you're going home, and then you are so filled up with food, you just like want to lay down and cry because you are so full. I hate to have to take a walk then, and I don't drink alcohol, so we can always take the car because I can always drive. And I thought about this in like a week ago or something. I think I haven't drank alcohol for seven years. And the strange thing is when I say to people that I don't drink alcohol, a lot of people get uncomfortable and are like, eh, Okay, have you ever tasted alcohol? And I'm like, yeah, I have been young. I have tasted it more than once. In some way, I like to make people a little bit uncomfortable when they ask that. But I feel like now, when I stopped drinking for about seven years, I don't know because I don't keep track because it wasn't that big life-changing thing for me. I just stopped because I don't like it. It felt like when I started it wasn't that many that did not drink alcohol. It felt like I was a little bit strange but now it's super common at least in Sweden that other influencers and people do not drink alcohol. And I... I don't know if some of them stop because you're getting older because I feel that the most people that are drinking alcohol like at parties and stuff you do not drink alcohol as like when you were 18 I know I didn't when I stopped drinking when I was 23 it wasn't the same like when I was 18 for my blush. I think I will just go with a Linda Hallberg. And do you see? I have hit pan in this. I'm just waiting to hit pan this one as well. I use this for my eye eyebrows. Okay, either Andromeda or Pinwa. I think I will take Andromeda. And I really hope that Linda Hallberg, uh, that they soon start to sell singles. And I feel that a lot of people want that, including me. Because this cigar, this one, is going to run out before like this Fornax that I don't use that much. But like this cigar I use every day. Okay, and now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and... I am so not prepared for this. And can I even fill those in when I'm filming? When I dyed them today, I was like, okay, I leave the color on for a pretty long time and just hope that they will. That I don't need to fill them in, but I think you do need. I want more marked brows. And I have a lot of hair on my brows, but it's not like, the color is not sticking to every brow hair that I have. So yeah, okay, I'm going to take on some highlight first, and I take the Milky Way, this one, this is one of my favorite highlighters. And I take, I took too much. Okay, what was I talking about? Yeah, my eyebrows. So I was like, if I have the color on for long, maybe they get so the color sticks, so I don't need to fill them in if I don't want to, but I I 
feel that I want to. And my hair. I have just washed my hair. And it's so slippery. Okay. Because it was too much highlighter on this one, I need to take the same amount on this because I can't have like, super much highlighter on one of the sides of my face. Okay. So the eyebrows. I wonder, maybe I don't have to have them much color. And I know I didn't fill in my brows until I was... old can I have been? Twenty three or something like that. And it was like an eye opening for me. I didn't do as much makeup before that either. I just used black eyeliner. This is better than this. In my world, this is better than this. The only thing that has been good with not like doing makeup and doing my eyebrows when I was younger. Like every Swede in the early 2000s had like this pin, like this hard, hard, thin eyebrow. I think it was like all over the world. And I am so glad that I never had that. I remember when I was, I think I was 11, and one of the popular girls in my class, we were at, we were swimming in school, in the gymnast, it's not the gymnastics, okay, you know sports that you have in school, we were swimming, and she had shaved her eyebrows off, and then she didn't have time to paint them on again. And I was like, she has no eyebrows. But she was one of the popular girls, so... Didn't matter. I was not one of the popular kids in school. We can just... Say it like that. I have never been... Popular, but I have always... For some reason, I think that most of kids want to be popular. I wanted it so bad. But I am pretty glad that I wasn't popular in school. At least now. And I come from a very small town. Very small town. We had one high school. And <laughs> in Sweden that is not like oh, only one high school. But it is pretty small. In my city we only had one high school. Okay, it's not high school like in the US, but where you go from you are 13 to 15. Go off to it's called gymnasiet in Sweden and it's like college, but it's not college because first you go gymnasium and then you go to the university when you're 19. Or older, you can study at the University of Sweden up until you are 65, I think, or even more. I think you can study at the university forever, but you don't get any student loans when you are over 65, I think, because then you get the pension. Okay, I don't know. So I come from a very small town, and I ev don't even know what I was talking about before this. Okay, now it's like half an hour left only, and I don't know what to wear. I don't think I will wear this. This is t-shirt from H&M with the moon and it says Luna Love and I have my favorite skirt on but I think I will change the top okay I will go in with the cinnamon under the eyes as well and I have thought about that like all the friends I have for YouTube I have no idea how they are dressed except for the shirt because you only see like the shoulders you never see the whole body and I don't know how people's home people's homes look like because you're at your filming room. And even though I have friends here on YouTube that I consider to be my friends, not only somebody that I talk to in videos that I talk to in like my personal life, I have no idea how their surroundings is. 
And I think me and my boyfriend talked about that. You know when you was younger and you had friends over or you were at home as friends? You know how their parents looked and their parents' name. And now friends that I have gotten in like when I am adult, I have no idea what their parents' name is and I have no idea how their parents look. Do you ever think about those things? Because for some strange re reason I do, I don't know why, but sometimes. And then I just feel I have to tell my boyfriend. I if Sometimes I think that he thinks I am strange. But I did warn him. In the beginning of our relationship that I am a strange person. And I don't know if so many of you knew, knew this, but me and my boyfriend, we have been together for over 12 years. I was only 17 when we started, when we got together. 17. Okay, so I'm going to spritz my face with some setting spray and I'm going to put on mascara something in my waterline and then I come back and we can choose the lipstick together and then I will end this long get ready with me that has no purpose. Okay, the hair is out, the mascara is on. In my waterline I took Get Paid and for my lips I think I will take Famous by Linda Harbaugh. It's one of the new shades and I love this shade. If I was going to film another video I would go with the red lipstick but I'm going out to eat and I think it's going to mess it up. So I go in with Famous. And this one, I love this shade. I love it so much. My other favorite from Linda Hartberg is uh, this one. This is Pink Opal. I have used this most of all. I love this Pink Opal and I love this Famous. These are two of my favorites. And also the extra. But this right lid on right one. But what I was going to say, this is like the grungy version of Pink Opal. Because Pink Opal, I think that is my lips but better. And this famous is my lips but better, but a little bit more grunge. I love this lipstick. It's so nice. It's just, it is there, but it's not too much. But it's not like nothing. I love it. So yeah, that was all for my little get ready with me and please comment if you want something, if you got something out of this. What do you think? Should I do a little giveaway in maybe two weeks or something? I have to see which was the date when I put up my first video in English because I want maybe the giveaway to come up on that date. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video. Now I'm going to change my shirt, put on something a little bit more nice, maybe. I don't know where I go like this. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, I'm going to end this now and I really hope you like this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I promise I'm not this boring in all of my videos. So yeah, I really hope you like this and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!